I believe in the power of history. I believe that history is the greatest resource available to man, and that its vast scope teaches us lessons that are impossible to grasp in our short lifetimes. Looking at the achievements of past leaders inspires us to change the world, while observing their failures warns us against their mistakes. As George Santana so famously said, those who cannot remember the past are doomed to repeat it. The comprehensive nature of history also reveals patterns that take longer than a lifetime to materialize. In the words of Aristotle, if you would understand anything, observe its beginning and its development. Studying history on a global level over hundreds of years creates a better picture of what the world was, is, and will be. In our culture, history is not valued. In fact, people think it is boring. While many today believe history is just dates and names, I think you should delve deeper. For, when you do, you realize the names of people, people like us. And history is really just the decisions that we make every day. It may seem like individuals were just swept up in huge events, but I don't believe that. I believe that everyone has a choice, and that some choices are recorded as history. History also reveals things about yourself. In the words of Michael Crichton, if you don't know history, you don't know anything. You are a leaf that doesn't know it is part of a tree. Human history is a part of us, because we are human. This means that to understand yourself, you must understand humans, and history is the only way to do that. A respect for history, however, does not require a resistance to progress, for a quick look into the past will reveal that change is the key to survival, and any nation that does not evolve is overtaken by the sands of time. But history doesn't just teach lessons, it tells stories. In history, as in life, there are comedies, dramas, and tragedies. There are thousands of tales. Some are funny, like the Roman Emperor Caligula's attempt to make his horse a consul. But some are horrific, like the epidemics that swept over the Americas in the 15th century. And then some, perhaps the most important, are heroic, like Gandhi's use of nonviolent protest, which, to this day provides hope for the oppressed. That's all history really is in the end. A story, the longest story ever written, and it's written by us. So make it a good one.